morning, everyone. Marv Eisen here from Timeless Dollar, and today is Friday, February 19th, and let's see if we can take a look at the news and get a sense of investor sentiment and where the market might be going today. Beginning with the economic calendar, the news from yesterday, the big headline was still this 861,000 number on the initial jobless claims, which far exceeded the estimate. So that weighed on the market, and of course, the market reacted in a negative manner. As far as today announcements, nothing really that is going to have a market moving uh, impetus one way or the other. Now, looking at the CNBC website, the headline that stock futures rise after Yellen pushes for more stimulus, that's a positive sign because with more stimulus, more money flows into the economy, sales increase, profits increase, and money is the driving factor, of course, so that could mitigate to a higher market. Looking at investors' business daily, we find that there is no negative news. There is good news today on the rise in the construction sector, Deer, Caterpillar. Copper extends advance. Materials are an important component of the economy that tends to be a uh, rising influence in the economy as well. Here's a chart of the last three and a half trading days of the S&P, and I wanted to call something to your attention. Starting here, all the way over on the left side, this is the 15-minute the, the, uh, chart. Uh, and you'll notice that on February 12th, the S&P closed at 39.35 and gapped up on the 16th, but the window, that gap, the window was closed. Now, I want to call to your attention the fact that all windows eventually get closed. Let's look at the next day, February 17th. February 17th, the market gapped down, but toward the end of the day, the market rose and the gap was closed. Yesterday, February 18th, the market gapped down, rose throughout the day, but never close the gap. So we have we have a uh, closing yesterday at 39.13. The gap was 39.31. So we have about 17 points on the upside to close that gap. Now, I would estimate that with the good news, the gap will probably close throughout the day and then the market might even head downhill again. Now, looking at the E-mini, the market is uh, right now at 39.23, and the, the gap, remember, the gap was 39.30, so we have seven points now to close that gap, so it's very likely that that gap be closed, and if the market is going to continue on its, on its pullback, on its retrenchment, I think it'll happen after that gap is closed. Anyway, this is Marv Eisen from Timeless Dollar. And uh, remember, you have to find the right places to make your trade, find the high probability entries. For those of you who are students of my course, you know that I post training exercises on finding the areas of high probability entries and exits for various trading days and pointing out the signals that you should be looking for and exercise patience before you jump on a trade. So uh, this is Marv Eisen, Timeless Dollar. Again, today is Friday, February 19th. Have a great day and a good weekend.